Hello everyone. Well, in this video, we will reveal the ideas to score well in aptitude part of NID, NIFT and UCED. My name is Dipendra and I am the Academic Head of Mathematics and Aptitude at Design Haifa. If you are interested about mastering aptitude, here are few techniques for you which will surely assist you to outshine in these design entrance exams. Before fighting any battle, you need to know your enemy well. That's why I constantly urge my students to invest a lot of time in understanding the exam adequately. When I talk about understanding the exam, it naturally means that you must study the exam first before studying for the exam. By scrutinizing the exam, I mean you need to understand the syllabus, the pattern, the variety and the level of questions and what not. The kind of books referred to and the sort of material solved by a student play a crucial role in determining their selection because a lot of kids needlessly overburden themselves with a lot of irrelevant books and insignificant material and eventually they quit preparing. Well, to know more about books and material, you can watch our video on books and material for NID, NIFT and UC. The link to the video is given in the description. Well, NID keeps on altering its weightage of aptitude and drawing every year. Besides, the types of the questions that NID asks are more visualization and imagination based. Here at Creative Edge, we classify them as non-verbal reasoning problems. Well, these are some very interesting and compelling questions where you need to put a lot of your focus on observing recognizing, imagining, creating, visualizing and inventing things. Majorly, the questions are based on mirror images, water images, rotation of an object, paper cutting and paper folding, etc. In NIFT, the weightage carried by aptitude is 50% and scoring well in the aptitude has a lot to do with your score as well as rank. In NIFT, the aptitude questions are from the subjects such as quantitative aptitude, logical ability, verbal ability, current affairs and general awareness. So for NIFT, one must study topics such as numbers, ratios, percentages, speed and time and distance, work and time, directions, arrangements, blood relations, etc. And to develop your comprehension skills, you should read a lot. You can read anything such as some good newspapers or books, etc. Through which you can work upon your interpretation skills. Well, reading good newspapers and their editorials will help you to not only improve your English, but to your, you know, current affairs as well. To be precise, UCED is an extension of NID, which is conducted by IITs. And it ensures that it does justice to the reputation of the institute conducting the exam. Well, in UCED, you will find all the varieties of questions you know, questions assessing your numerical ability, visualization, imagination, invention, analytical skills, and basically the types of questions where thinking logically is needed. You can't even imagine what a great combination of questions you seed brings. One has to be remarkably skilled at aptitude if they aspire to be into IITs to pursue a career in design. Well, the training for exams like UCED cannot be simplified in just one video. One has to toil hard and burn the midnight oil to clear the exams like UCED. However, if you still want to know what it takes to clear UCED, then it is your problem solving attitude that can be developed when you solve a lot of various types of puzzles and problems. 
when your brain is very thoroughly and comprehensively developed you ultimately develop the neck to crack you see one of my teachers has once said and i personally am very fond of this quote practice does not make a man perfect it just makes things permanent when you do incorrect practices you develop faulty practices subconsciously naturally if you genuinely desire to attain expertise in something then it is the right practice that makes you perfect hence i will always emphasize the value of having the right guidance and supervision in simple words not all of us can be the eclavier you need guidance and assistance to understand the exam properly you need the dronacharya who can assist you in identifying what needs to be done and what needs not to be done yes you need a teacher who can enlighten you with the right and the correct practices you need a faculty with whom you can learn and discover the right approaches and methods so that you can enhance your efficiency performance and optimize your score well once you have found the right trainer it is not just the educator who trains you but you get to learn a lot from your peers as well that's why i personally always give priority to learning offline over online with that i feel now we have tremendous clarity on scoring well in the aptitude part of nid nift and uc notwithstanding if you have any queries questions and doubts regarding the exams feel free to post them in the comments we would love to answer them or who knows we might create another video answering your queries thank you everyone